it all really well. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice to be sat chatting with you guys. I feel like I have kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth for a couple of weeks. Yeah, very much looking forward to catching up with you all. Um, it is currently Easter weekend, it's Saturday morning. Um, we've had a lovely Easter weekend so far. Yesterday we went out with Jamie's dad for some food and like a lovely long walk, it was really nice. Um, and then this morning, Noah has been playing outside all morning. He's got a new little mud kitchen, which I found on Facebook Marketplace, and he loves it, loves it so much. Um, I'm actually planning on getting him like a, some kind of slide, swing, little house, kind of little play area thing for his birthday, because he just loves being outside so much. Um, so he's actually still out there with Jamie, so I thought now would just be a really nice time to have a really big catch up. We can spend the weekend together. Um, we've got a nice day planned today. We're going to go out for a little pizza date soon. Oh, oh my god, this is where it's like, it's going to be word vomit because I just have so many things to share with you guys. I'm going to be sharing our bathroom renovation reveal in a minute which I'm so excited about. Lots of you guys have been asking me is the bathroom finished? We can't wait to see it. It's finally done, everything is finished and I can't wait to share it with you. So I'll take you upstairs in a minute and show you around, give you the grand bathroom tour. Um, and then yeah, tomorrow's Easter Sunday. I love Easter weekend. I feel like it just has such like a, a lovely atmosphere, like a really cozy, just lovely atmosphere, I've always loved Easter weekend. Um, so tomorrow, I'm gonna do Noah a little egg hunt in the morning, I've got his little Easter basket, which is a tradition that I started last year and I can't wait to do every single year. Um, and yeah, just a nice chilled Easter Sunday, so I'm looking forward to spending time with you all this weekend. Let's have a little debrief <laughs> over the past few weeks because it's been quite eventful. So week before last, I got completely taken out by this, I think it was like a flu, because I'm still not well, like it's three weeks on now and I'm, I've still got a horrible cough and I still wake up some days and feel quite bad, um, but thankfully I'm feeling like much better than I was. I spent like a good four days in bed, which is so unlike me to be wiped out like that. Um, luckily, Jamie and Noah didn't actually get it, which I'm so grateful for. Um, I don't know whether it's because obviously I'm pregnant, my immune system's lower than it normally is. I've been feeling really just, pregnancy hormones have been wild this time around guys, especially since I hit like 30 weeks, like I've just really struggled um, with how I've been feeling mentally, like I've been so up and down, I've had some days where I just feel like so so depressed and it's like a vicious circle because then I, I get annoyed at myself for feeling like that. Um, but I've just had some really, really, really low days which have just been really hard to, really hard to deal with. Um, so I don't know whether I'm just feeling run down and I'm just catching all the colds. <laughs> and then last week I was feeling quite a bit better and I thought, right, let's catch up with everyone, you know, let's get back into it. And then I got this like, excruciating tooth pain and I couldn't talk my whole mouth was like so sore I booked an emergency dental appointment and had to have a tooth removed which was so painful so then I spent another like couple of days where I couldn't talk um and yeah it's just the last few weeks have just it's, it's been a lot I'm just falling to bits guys I am I'm deteriorating I'm just falling to pieces um I actually have some other bits to chat about, which I think I'm gonna speak to you guys about later on in the vlog. Um, just some kind of like things that have been really playing on my mind recently, and I'm not sure if it's like pregnancy hormones or, uh, I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll speak about that a little bit later, um, because I don't wanna be sat here this morning just like, talking to you for hours and hours and hours. Another thing as well that I'm always like really, really conscious of is I really don't want my vlogs to start off on like any negativity, any like, I don't know, I, 
the videos that I put out, I really want to just be like a safe place, a really uplifting kind of video. Like I really don't want it to be a place that I come to rant and I, I, I come on my days where I'm feeling really low because I just, it doesn't feel natural for me to, I don't know, I don't like feeling vulnerable so it's like, it. I find it very hard to talk about certain things but um, I just really feel like we have built up such a friendship over the past six, seven years of me being online. I can't just pretend everything's okay, like I have to talk about how I'm really feeling um, and yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm being really like, I don't know, I'm being weird, I'm nervous, ah, why, what, what is wrong with me? Like, what is actually wrong with me? Have a sip of coffee, Gemma, and calm down. I'm just trying to think if I have anything else to update you guys on now. I've had quite a few questions from you guys about my brand, Girl of Muse, which we've actually had for almost three years now. Can't believe how quickly time has gone. Um, but you guys may have noticed, well, quite a few of you have noticed, that we have been a little bit quiet on Girl of Muse this year. Um, our last drop was actually our Christmas collection, and the reason for that being, we are really trying to have a little bit of a rethink with the brand, um, and we've spent the past few months just really thinking about what we want to do going forward, where we want the brand to be, what we want the brand to be, the changes that we want to make. Um, and I kind of feel like since we started the brand three years ago, so much has changed, like so much has changed. I think the main thing being becoming a mum, I think it, it changes you so much. I say this all the time, but I do feel like when you give birth, you give birth to a new version of yourself. And things that were like really important to you back then are almost like not as important now. Um, so I really wanted to take a little bit of time away from Girl of Muse to kind of really make sure my brand aligns with me. Um, and we have a plan. It's a really, really, really exciting plan. I think you guys are gonna love. I think you're gonna be so excited. Um, and there's gonna be some really exciting announcements and drops coming towards the end of this year. Like I said, really trying to make sure that the brand aligns with me and it's something that you guys are just gonna really, really love. Um, and I'm pretty certain you're gonna love it. So I'm excited to share more with you about Girl of Muse. There's gonna be lots of kind of like sneak peeks and updates in upcoming vlogs and over on Instagram. So yeah, really excited to share that with you a little bit later this year. But yeah, guys, I think that's all the updates I have for now. Um, gonna show you the bathroom in a moment, which I'm really excited for. We also have almost finished the nursery, which I'm just in love with it. it I'd probably say it's like 90% done. There's a couple of things that I'm just waiting on that are gonna finish the room. So I'm gonna wait until they've arrived, which should be this week. Um, and then I'm thinking in my next vlog, I can do the big nursery reveal. We can do some nesting, some nursery organization. Yeah, guys, I'm so looking forward to catching up and spending time with you all this Easter weekend. Before we head upstairs, I'm just having a little pregnancy craving snack. This is one of my new ones. Watermelon wedges. Now, they have to be the slices like this, preferably from Morrison's, because I just think they're so crunchy and delicious. I'm not too keen on the chunks. It has to be a wedge. Anything crunchy, fresh and cold, I am loving. I ate an entire iceberg lettuce the other day with my bare hands. <laughs> I just was craving that like crunchy coldness. And also, I'm back on the hard stuff guys, I'm back on the sponges. It was about this time in my pregnancy with Noah, I just developed an, ob an unhealthy obsession of sponges. like. I can't take myself seriously when I'm talking about this. All I want to do is fill up the sink with like really soapy, bubbly water, put all my sponges in the sink and just squeeze them. I like scratching them when they're hard. Like, what is wrong with me? Am I okay? 
Also gonna take my morning vitamins from my vitamins. This part of today's video is very kindly sponsored by my vitamins. Um, I'm gonna share with you ones that I'm currently taking, a couple of my favorites. I will leave a direct link down below and I have an amazing discount code, which is Gemma, which will get you 55% off. So if you're looking to stock up or if you're looking to try something new, I'll share with you a couple of things that really work for me today and then you can get them for over half price, which is amazing. So first things first, you guys already know, I'm taking the pregnancy gummies. I've been taking these throughout my pregnancy to give me and baby all of the goodness that we need. These are great, especially for that first trimester when you really need folic acid. Um, so would highly recommend taking these if you are pregnant. So I simply just take two of these gummies every single day. They are absolutely delicious. They literally taste like little sweets. I look forward to taking my vitamins every day because it's like having a couple of little sweets. Then over the past couple of weeks, I have started taking my multivitamin gummies again. I did ask my midwife if these are safe to take because I just feel like my immune system is at an all time low and I'm sick of being ill. And she said they are absolutely fine. So I've been taking one of these a day. These are one of my faves. They're strawberry flavor. They're so yummy. And multivitamin gummies. If you don't currently take vitamins, these are a great place to start because they're like an all rounder, just great vitamin. They're gonna give you all of the essential vitamins and minerals that you need. Then as always, one of my holy grail vitamins is the apple cider vinegar gummies. Apple cider vinegar has so many amazing health benefits and I love taking these in gummy form. They taste a hell of a lot nicer than actual apple cider vinegar. These are great for your gut, great for digestion, you feel a lot less bloated and just full and kind of like sluggish. When I take one of these a day, um, I just feel like they're really, really, really great for my gut. So these are apple flavor, like I said, they taste amazing and you're getting your daily dose of apple cider vinegar with these. Anyway, my loves, I will leave a direct link down below for my vitamins. Don't forget to use my discount code and let's head upstairs so I can share with you the bathroom reveal. Ah, I feel so excited. You have to let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of before, um, just so you guys can see like a proper before and after. I do enjoy like a before and after, so I'm going to insert that clip now. So this is how the bathroom was when we moved in. As you can see, there were some quite busy floor tiles, grey marble shower tiles. The shower was on the right with a big double sink and a dark grey high gloss storage unit and also silver hardware. I've never really been 100% happy with this bathroom and you guys know I've always dreamt of renovating our bathroom. So, here's the after. Welcome to my dream at home spa bathroom. As you can see, it's a lot more minimal, neutral. I love the new layout. Okay, my loves, let me give you the grand tour. So, let's start with the lighting because I just think this feature is so cool. So we have our spotlights which are dimmable which just makes me so happy. I love a, I love a dimmable <laughs> light switch and then this switch here is for the alcoves which I just think oh I love it and I love how they, they like they like fade, fade on. Oh I'm just so happy. So let's start with we decided to go for you guys know as i'm in an airing whether to go for full tiles everywhere or to kind of have you know the um shower section tiled and then the rest painted so we decided to go for all tiles these tiles are just gorgeous they have so much texture they're like kind of like a grayy color they've got like tones of gray and neutral and white and they are just so beautiful, We've got matching wall and also floor tiles as we wanted everything to just feel really quite minimal. As you can see, we've got the pops of wood which really, really warm up the bathroom. Um, I just, yeah, love how everything's come together. You can see we've had a partition wall built here which 
I just think makes such a difference to the bathroom it kind of like divides it up so this space here is obviously like the little vanity unit and then this space here is more of like the wet room with the bath and the shower we also had this side as well a stud wall built so we could have the alcoves which I'm just obsessed with I've always really really wanted some lovely like lit up alcoves in the bathroom because i just think it makes it feel so cozy and it's a really nice place to pop all of your favorite products um we also went for a different type of tile at the back of the alcoves um which is the matching tile to this one i'll share some more details about where we got everything in a, in a minute um but these are the matching ones but they just add again a little bit of something different I just think they look really beautiful so we've just got these in these two alcoves and then also we had another stud wall built over here near the bath um, so we were able to have this alcove here I was a little bit worried that the stud walls would make the bathroom feel a lot smaller it's actually really improved the layout which I'm so happy about my favorite part of the bathroom is definitely this little section here it just feels so cozy this wall I feel like just really makes such a difference like it makes it feel like it makes it feel like this section is just really cornered off um so where should we start first things first the bump is bumping today okay feeling very big so we decided to go for this gorgeous round mirror it's absolutely huge I see it's lit up behind which just looks so nice and then look how cool this is Ooh. Noah absolutely loves this feature. He is forever just like this. <laughs> and here's what the sink unit looks like. Absolutely obsessed. We've got like this floating large drawer down here. Wooden units and the worktop were actually bespoke made. Um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So we went for this really lovely textured worktop. Nice chunky worktop. Um, and originally we were going to have like a big rectangle sink on here but I really wanted like to have some space to display some products and just make this area like really really luxury and cozy so decided to get one of these bowl basins which is in matte white or just black tap oh my goodness I'm just absolutely obsessed never thought I'd be as obsessed with the bathroom as I am and then I've just popped a couple of little bits over here got one of my favorite candles these gorgeous jars are from Zara home so I've just popped some cotton wool balls in there and some cotton buds and then over here we've just got a couple of products on display I also got this little tray from Zara as well um, and this drawer is brilliant because it is absolutely huge, perfect amount of space for all of my like skincare bits, my pampery bits, hair bits. Um, I also got these clear containers from Amazon, which just, it satisfied me that they fit perfectly. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I've just spotted a little car in my drawer. Honestly, tell me you're a boy mom without telling me you're a boy mom. I find little cars everywhere on my bedside table in my pockets in my drawers <laughs> oh my goodness that's so funny i'll pop it back there in case he goes looking for that later um so yeah lots of storage space yeah i am just absolutely obsessed with this little area i love it every time i come in here i'm like <gasps> just so happy because oh I just I just love it guys really I'm so so happy with it then moving on to this section I got my tall unit this is something I saw on Pinterest and I just really really wanted like a tall unit this is actually a kitchen unit it works really well the wood is absolutely gorgeous I love this little bit here um, I've just popped a candle in there but you could pop like towels in there and then inside we have got lots of lovely storage which is hidden so again I feel like it makes the bathroom just feel a lot tidier having hidden storage and then round this side we have some little shelves as you can see I'm still kind of like playing around with what to put on these shelves because they are quite narrow um, so I feel like they are great for products so I've just popped a couple of my favourites on there. I've got some little dressing gown hooks here. So I've just popped my dressing gown on there, towel on there, little scrubby on there. Ooh, I'll give it a little scratch because I'm obsessed with sponge textures at the moment. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it just it does something, it does something to my soul. Um, and these are great here as well because we obviously have like the wet room area here, which as you can see, the tiles kind of go at a slant. So all of the water drains into here so the rest of the bathroom doesn't get wet and it actually works really, really well. I was worried that it would make the bathroom feel damp, but it doesn't because we obviously have the extractor fan up there and all of the water just drains down. And then we have a new bath. This is a, I think it's called an eggshell bath. So nice. It's really, it doesn't look it, but it's really quite deep and wide, but it looks a lot shallower than our other bath because our other bath went up at the sides um but it's in this gorgeous matte white it's absolutely beautiful um as you can see we went for black hardware which i'm so happy about now it's in we were kind of torn between black and gold um but i think the black just looks so elegant i love it so yeah, we've got a bath over here lovely little alcove with the lighting again um this is this is great for a cup of tea <laughs> like a little ledge for a cup of tea it is it is great um and then we've got the shower here little wet room shower screen here we do have this arm which is kind of like supporting this but we're not too sure if we want to keep that there um it is completely safe without it because obviously it goes into the wall here but we just, I feel like it kind of ruins the vibes, like this big arm coming out of the ceiling. So we might get rid of that, we're not sure. But it's fine for now, whilst everything is obviously still settling in the bathroom. Um, shower, we have this gorgeous overhead rainfall shower. It's just, oh my goodness, it's like a hotel shower. It's so powerful. And then I had to get one of these as well, the hose. Um, because I don't know about any of you guys, but when I don't wash my hair, I always just use the hose. Um, and I just, I love a powerful hose. This is so powerful. Um, again, we've got another little alcove. And this side of the glass, we have our floating toilet, which again is matte to match the bath. This is our flush. Another little alcove here. And then we just kept our radiator behind the door. Um, because I feel like it's just out the way there and I did feel like this was kind of the perfect space This was exactly where it was before um, The door does open like I'd probably say like 90% of the way, but that really doesn't bother me, but it was either have the Radiator here or have the radiator here and I just thought I don't know like a big Radiator on the wall there. I thought might just really ruin the spa vibes you know so i thought let's keep it behind the door like who cares if the door doesn't open all the way that's good enough right we can fit through there it's fine yeah that is our bathroom renovation reveal let me know what you guys think i'm honestly just oh, i'm so happy with this room it's the at home spa bathroom that i've just always dreamt of Oops, please let me know what you think of our new bathroom i am just honestly over the moon with it like every time i come in here i'm just like oh. you guys know renovating this bathroom is really something i've wanted to do honestly from the moment we moved in um and yeah just i'm just so happy with it so i'll leave all of the details in the description box so where we got the bathroom from i'll try and find out the names of everything as well so like the names of the tiles the names of the units um I'll try and include as much information as I can and also for our bathroom fitters as well because would really 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 recommend um so I'll leave all the details down below we actually bought our entire bathroom from she water homes who are in Peterborough who I cannot recommend enough this was like such a quick turnaround as you guys know we went in we had a consultation I took a mood board of everything that I loved and what I really wanted to create and they put together basically like a visual um, I'll pop it on screen now of what the bathroom was going to look like and we were able to like change things and have a look around their showroom which is absolutely gorgeous and we were able to see like most of the items that we have in this bathroom in the showroom so we could see the tiles and like pop the wood next to the tiles to make sure everything goes um, and 
yeah, we pretty, well, I think we only had two appointments. One where we went in with our mood board and one where we went in to finalise everything. Then everything was ordered on our behalf. Um, it was delivered to our house and then it was fitted. Like it was such an easy, really actually enjoyable process. Um, and then obviously our bathroom fitters came in and did the job and it, yeah, I'm just so incredibly happy with how it's turned out and I could not recommend our bathroom fitters and She Water Homes enough. Um, she Water actually do kitchens as well, so yeah, would really, really recommend. Anyway, my loves, plans for now are, um, Noah's gonna go down for his nap, so I'm gonna get him all ready for his nap. Um, and then we are gonna head out for our little pizza evening. The Easter Bunny's bin. <laughs> Look! Wow! The Easter Bunny's bin. Wow! Oh, just chuck the rabbit out. <gasps> wow! What else have you got? Straight to the straight to the chocolate. Kinder. Daddy to eat it. I mean, open it. <gasps> What's that? Thank you. Hold that for me, Dada. Look, Tilly's having a sniff as well. You've got some books, stickers. Wow, look. Wow. Moo. He <laughs> just moo. Is that a moo? It's cow. Moo. You've got another one of your favourite books. Mm. You love oh, these, don't you? Oh, it's got windows again. That's your favourite thing in the other book. Wow. Whoa. Who's in that window? This is so cute. Games. I am excited to play with this. I don't know about Noah, but I'm excited to have a look at that. Wow, you've got some stickers. A little Easter colouring book. Oh, who's that? More chalky. <gasps> it's one of the magnet books that you love. That we've got at Nanny's. Yeah. An Easter one. These are great because you pop these like on the pages and they're obviously like magnetic. Should we open it? There we go, look. Oh, wow. They're all, oh, oh, there's cake. Who's that? Is that Peter? Peter Rabbit and all his friends, look. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? Sorry. Sorry, oh. let's put them back in. So I'm so sorry. I never thought in my life that I would be terrified of someone this big, but Noah is in his tantrum era. And if you do anything slightly that he doesn't want, it's carnage. We melt on the floor at the moment. We just melt into a big heap. So. Teddy, do you want this just carrot? Just live, live your life off the edge. Uh, Teddy, no has got a carrot for you. <laughs> oh my god, look. <laughs> Teddy, no has got a carrot Aww. for you. It's Easter. Teddy, I'll, um, no, I'll have it. Daddy will have your carrot. No. Let's wipe your nose. It's <laughs> naughty. Oh, what have we got there? Crayons. <coughs> Would you like me to get them out? Wow. Yeah? Oh. It's an Easter activity book. Wow, these are cute. They're from B and M. <gasps> Crayons. Should I get them out for you? Oh, look, there's loads of stickers. Ooh. My mum's not very good at opening things. What time is it? I'm eight, not sure. Eight forty. But it's really seven forty because yeah. the clock went forward. I keep saying that to myself. Easter colouring. <laughs> you colouring the bunny? Wow, beautiful! Yay, well done! <laughs> you want a sticker on there, look? Ooh! Which one should we have? Which one would you like? Look. Which one? None of them, Dad, are up colouring. <laughs> no way. Don't, oh. don't poke the beast, Dad. Look, look, look. God forbid you put a sticker on his colouring pad. Sticker? 
It might be the end of the world. <laughs> Look. Oh no, Dada, what have you done? Look, there's a carrot. Wow, look. Oh dear. <laughs> That's the back off noise. Look there. The growl. The We're colouring black scribbles in rage. Like, this is how angry I'll get with you, Dad, if you stick that sticker on my page. Imagine this is your favourite. Oh, is this expressive art, Noah? <laughs> yeah, it is. Expressive That's art. Exactly what it is. <laughs> Look, should we have a little, wow, look at little flowers, say happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> have you seen this carrot? He's paying no attention to you whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let me get the rubbish, though. It's cute, it's like a magnetic playboard. I bought this a while back, actually. Little farm, it's so cute. I've been very excited to have a look at this. That's what life is now, just getting excited about children's Can toys. Oh, Daddy put some water in there. Oh, no, look! Oh, there's loads of magnets! Look, darling. It's got like a magnet board, though, isn't it? Yeah, it has got a magnet board. Oh. Do you want to have it? Can you sit on my lap? Oh, come then. Can you put the pickies on? What else have we got? Wow! Oh, this is so cute! Now, who's this one? Mm. Well done. Oh no! Did you drop one? Wow! <laughs> Love your dancing! <laughs> Like, what on earth is going on? <laughs> Ted, you can probably just see the top of Noah's head appearing. Hello! <laughs> this is one of those moments that I've always dreamt of, like becoming a mum and putting together Noah's first little Easter egg hunt. Um, he had a mini one last year, but obviously he was only like a year, not even a year old this time last year, so... He wasn't walking, I don't think. Was he walking? No, he wasn't walking. So it it wasn't like a proper egg hunt. But he's got his little giraffe, little basket that we got from TK Maxx. So cute. And then we've got an Easter Bunny Please Stop Here sign, which I'm going to pop like at the beginning of the trail. There's not too many places to hide eggs in our garden. Our garden's a bit of like a work in progress at the moment. It's basically a big mess. Um, obviously it's been winter, it's been very wet, and everything is just looking a little bit of a tip. Just looks like a bit of a tip. Um, we're going to be having like a little bit of a spruce up as it obviously gets warmer, spring, summer. Um, so I'm going to maybe hide some in some like plant pots. <laughs> That's about as adventurous as it's going to get behind the Christmas tree. <laughs> We'll find some places. Um, but I got this little, it's really good. It's like a little kinder egg hunt box. And it's full with loads of different little chocolates, which I just thought was so cute. So there's like little frog, little eggs. So yeah, I'm gonna go hide these in the garden. And then Noah can come out and have his first little egg hunt. I'm also gonna hide this one as well, little Freddo chocolate. Plans for today are we're going to have a lovely just like chilled Easter Sunday. I love Easter Sunday. It just feels so nice. Um, so we're going to have our egg hunt and then Noah will probably go down for his nap for a couple of hours. And then I think this afternoon we're just going to go for a nice walk around one of our favourite places which is like big woods. There's a deer park there, um, some other animals. So I think we're just going to head over there and then come home and I'm going to cook one of our favourite dinners would usually love a roast on an Easter Sunday but we're all going over to my mum's tomorrow um, to have like a, our big Easter family roast so I'm going to save that for tomorrow um, and just do something that I know Noah will eat tonight because we have a very picky eat on our hands at the moment 
who only likes to eat sausage, Cheerios, pears, and, and that's about it, honestly. Toddler parent life, honestly, it's a whirlwind. It is a whirlwind. Anyway, let's go and do Noah's little first egg hunt. Are you ready for your egg hunt? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, careful, hold mommy's hand out the door. Oh. <gasps> Have you seen one? Wow! That? You put it in your basket? Good boy! Should we find some more? That's mummy's great hiding. <laughs> I didn't want to make it too wow. hard. What's that? You put them in your basket? Put them in here. <gasps> no, there's another one there. <laughs> What's that? Easter bunny? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Can we find any more? <gasps> wow, what's that one? It's in your mud kitchen or stone kitchen. You pop it in your basket. Wow. You want to get him out? We can get him out. <gasps> you found some in there. What a muddy kitchen you've got there. Oh. oh that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's well it, done. pop them in your basket. Oh. <laughs> in they go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Easter Bunny's left you so many eggs. Pop it in. Wow. Look at all your eggs. So I'm having breakfast made for me this morning. We've got Jamie's finest beans on toast, which he's burnt. And I'm just sat here watching and he's so stressed. He's sweating like running around. He's saying, what did you just say? It's all about timing. Beans on toast is all about timing. Honestly. I was joking. What's the matter? What is it, sir? Chocolate. Could be, could be anything. Want chocolate. Like, he wants more chocolate. He's pulling out a tiny little bit of chocolate. Oh my goodness. Do you want cheese? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the most chaotic breakfast ever. <laughs> got Noah going, more chocolate. And we've got Jamie over there <laughs> slaving over a hot stove. <laughs> Making <laughs> some pizza I'm cheese on toast. Do you want um <laughs> uh, no thank you. This is my signature dish. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you very much. home from a gorgeous Easter Sunday walk. We also popped over to a little farm shop just to grab a couple of bits for dinner, which I'm just about to get started on. Um, so tonight I'm making sausage tray bake. It's so easy, so delicious. One of our favorite dinners. Like I said, nine times out of 10, Noah will eat it. Honestly, he's like Gordon Ramsay at the moment. I could spend hours cooking a gorgeous meal and he will take one look at it and just knock it on the floor no I'm not even trying it unless you serve me sausages I'm not trying it so yeah sausage tray bake is always a favorite in this house one of those dinners that's just so quick and easy you basically just bung everything in the oven um, all you need is some sausages some potatoes carrots red onion an apple and then we have it with gravy um, you can also have it with like Yorkshire puddings like it's a little bit like roast dinner vibes. Oh my god It's so nice. But yeah, we usually have um, gravy with cranberry and oh, it's so yummy
Basically the potatoes are ready for the oven. I've literally just diced them up. I've popped some olive oil on them and some salt and some pepper. I usually pop these in about 20 minutes before the sausages and carrots, um, just cause they always need a little bit longer. But these come out the most delicious. Like they're almost like a mini easy roast potato. And then on a separate tray, I've just added the sausages, carrot, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add some honey. Oh my goodness, this makes all the difference. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this all over, makes the carrot so yummy. And this will go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Um, about 10 minutes before it's done, I will add red onion and apple. little bedtime routine i really didn't know what time to put him to bed tonight because obviously the clocks went forward i always get mixed up with this forward fall back forward the clocks went forward last night um so obviously it like it kind of throws the day off but i've just put him to bed at normal time because he was super tired so we'll see how the night goes, what sort of time he wakes up in the morning. Um, but it's so nice, it's still being light, guys. Like, it's half seven now, and it's still complete daylight, um, which just actually feels really nice. I mean, I love it when it gets dark early. I think it's so cosy, but then I also love spring, love the feeling of the days being longer. Anyway, my loves, it is time for a little heart to heart. Me and you, it's time to have a chat and I feel like it's gonna get quite deep um it's it, this chat is probably completely fueled by pregnancy hormones <laughs> um because like I said yesterday I am just feeling very much like all over the place I'm really not feeling myself mentally and I'm just <sighs> everything is kind of getting to me a lot more than it normally would and we're gonna fully blame pregnancy hormones because oh, they be crazy so yeah get comfy grab a drink and let's have a little chat um i don't know if it's the protective mama in me or the fact that i'm about to birth another baby that's just making me feel like this over the past couple of months i'm really feeling in two minds of how much of Noah I share online. Um, I think obviously baby's due date being just around the corner now, it's really kind of just making me think about that a lot more. And obviously now Noah's getting older and honestly, this kind of like overthinking has stemmed from a couple of messages that I've received about Noah. Um, in YouTube comments, on Instagram messages. Like it's the first kind of messages really that I have received about him that have been directly written on my platforms. They, they weren't nasty things, but they were kind of just assumptions about him. And I really don't know how to deal with that. Um, I feel like when you, you share a lot of your life online, you, of course are going to receive all kinds of different comments and messages and over the seven years I have been online I've really like had to almost train myself to deal with that and you know when nasty things are said about me and stuff like that I'm really really actually quite good <laughs> at just brushing it off because I feel like you really have to have a very thick skin um sharing your life online because obviously people are going to have all different opinions um and you you can't control what people think or say about you so yeah i'm quite good at dealing with negativity or comments about me quite easy just like blacking out the haters <laughs> but when it comes to noah like i just i want to hide him away 
like my natural instinct wants to protect him and take him offline because obviously at this moment in time that's my decision and I think it's really hard having to navigate being a mum in general let alone having so much of your life online and I'm just really really in my head about it and I think these comments have just really played on my mind and really made me just feel really quite anxious actually um like I feel anxious to be online and like I said with baby's due date just being around the corner it's just it's kind of just been a bit of a realization and a moment where I, I need to take a step back and think about that um because obviously I feel like becoming a mum you learn so much and if you're lucky enough to have another baby and be able to do it all over again I really want to make sure that I'm making like the right choices um and yeah like I said I don't know if I'm kind of like all in my own head about it and I kind of feel like sad about it as well because if I do make the decision to not share my children online I feel like it's kind of like the a bit of an end of an era and it's it's sad for me it's sad for you guys obviously because I love sharing as much as my life with you as possible and obviously Noah baby that's coming soon are my world they are the most important things in my life um so to not share them feels really quite alien to me now um even though <laughs> I do think about this Noah it really isn't in my videos as you guys know a lot you guys maybe see five ten minutes of him every couple of weeks really not like he's online a lot that's why i just find it so mind-blowing that people can make certain assumptions about a literal ne nearly two-year-old like it just it's crazy to me like how can how can you make assumptions about a child that you see 10 minutes of every fortnight I don't know I just do you know what it is guys I would never do that so I find it really hard to deal with like nasty messages and comments I could just never imagine doing that I could never ever 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 imagine going on someone's page and writing something about them let alone their child like I just really can't understand that so I think that's why I find it really hard to comprehend because I'm like I would never do that um but like we said everyone's different when you share as much online like I as I do unfortunately it's got to be expected and you have to learn to deal with it so yeah I'm just kind of in my my head about that a little bit at the moment um and I think also that I'm in my head about is what I'm going to do about maternity leave um Obviously, I have the option to take maternity leave. Um, obviously, I run my own business, businesses. So it's hard because you've really got to make the decision. It, it's really hard to take time away. Um, but I do feel like I probably need that this time, especially how my hormones just feel all over the place now. I know with Noah, like, postpartum the hormones are even more crazy um so i think that i need a bit of time to just let my body recover navigate newborn life again being a mum to two like it's it's a lot of change and i think with noah i never really took any time to like i never took any maternity leave so i think i really do need to do that this time um so yeah, it's just a lot to think about. Um, I think having a baby is extremely overwhelming anyway, just with like the amount of stuff that you have to prepare. And um, obviously I feel like my body is really like slowing down at the minute. Like I feel like I can't do as much as I was able to last week. I just feel like my body's like preparing me for labor. Not yet, but like it's, it's telling me to slow down. I think maybe that's why I'm getting ill because I'm not slowing down and I'm still like doing as much as I was before and my body's like whoa <laughs> let's make you ill so you have to stop um 
so yeah guys that's kind of like how I'm feeling at the moment I'm just I just feel really confused I just want to say thank you in advance because I know all of you are going to be so lovely and sweet because you always are and I think that's what makes me feel really sad that um I feel like I don't know what I'm trying to say I feel like I don't want to stop sharing certain parts of my life with you guys just because of a few people that have written some things it's strange i'm trying to make sense of it in my own head so this may have just been <laughs> a lot of words um but thank you for listening and thank you for all being amazing friends um and i really appreciate having this platform and having all of you guys to be able to chat to about stuff like this um so yeah so i'm gonna get ready for bed i'm gonna eat my easter egg i've got a gillian which i'm very excited about and we're probably gonna watch a film and then tomorrow's bank holiday monday um so we're going over to my mum's my nephews are gonna be there my brother's gonna be there um so it's going to be really really nice like family day Noah's going to absolutely love playing with his cousins and we're going to have some nice food and yeah it's just going to be a really nice chilled day um and then I will catch up with you guys in next weekend's vlog hopefully I'll be able to share the nursery with you um and yeah we'll have another catch up then yeah thank you so much for spending time with me this weekend I hope you've all had a gorgeous Easter weekend and I will catch up with you all really soon Bye-bye.